Welcome back. Today we are at Exodus chapter 12, verses 9 and 10. We're studying now the instructions that have to do particularly with the Passover. So we're just reading verses 9 and 10 here. Do not eat any of it raw or boiled at all with water, but rather roasted with fire, both its head and its legs along with its entrails. And you shall not leave any of it over until morning, but whatever is left of it until morning, you shall burn with fire. So the sacrifice can't be eaten raw, it can't be boiled because that would have taken longer to accomplish. Just kind of a speed thing going on here. The sacrifice is accomplished immediately. The food is as cooked as rapidly as possible. Everything is happening at sort of this accelerated pace because deliverance is, is imminent. God is going to send his people out and he wants them as soon as he, as soon as he pulls back on the rubber band, he wants them to go. So everything is done very in a very basic way as you might prepare it in haste. Now this was an interesting line here that we just read. None of the sacrifice is to be left until morning. Anything left over needs to be burnt up. Now there's a lot more going on here than food efficiency, obviously. There's to be enough for everybody, but the food itself is to be treated with care. Because after all, this is symbolic of God's single, once and for all offering. And we know from the Bible, God's sacrifice is for everyone who's willing to receive it. Sadly, there's a lot of people that are unwilling to receive it. They are unwilling to comply with the instructions that God lays down for it. You know, they're not to make it up as they go. They're not to listen to an instruction from some, uh, some religious authority or some government. They're to follow God's instructions. <laughs> and that's, that's what we are to do as we follow God. We are to be faithful to follow God's instructions. Is, is that like, is that weird or something? It only makes sense. So if there's some extra food remaining, it's to be taken and burned up and destroyed. Now, we have communion in the church every now and again. And what do we do when we have leftover? We try to make sure we have enough emblems of the bread and the wine for everybody. Enough of that. But we usually have some leftover. And if we, we will take it to shut-ins and feed them. Uh, but if we have leftover that we're not using, what do we do? We don't pour it down the drain. We, we destroy it. We, we destroy it in a respectful way. And that's what they did here would take any extra and destroy it in a respectful way. In fact, our practice is, is pretty much based, I think, right out of here, out of this chapter, Exodus 12, our practice with modern day communion. So from beginning to end, this is a community event. No leftovers are to remain, but all's to be done to treat everything in a respectful way, thoughtful, wide awake, do it in order and do it with respect. God is the creator, you and I are the creatures. We owe him our respect. He's marked out the way to do it. We are to say yes and be blessed. See you tomorrow morning.